Hey you guys, welcome to the math puzzle video. So, you have 8 balls all of the same size. 7 of them weigh the same and 1 of them weighs slightly more. How can you find the ball that is heavier by using a balance and only 2 weighings? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to decide to uh, number the balls first of all. Okay, I'm going to number these 8 balls. So I'm going to number them as 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, and then 8. So I'm going to take 7 and 8 aside, okay, and I'm going to have, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to weigh them, right? So I'm going to have two sides to the weight, okay. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3 on one side and 4, 5, 6 on the other side. All right. So case 1, uh, both sides weigh the same, right? Both sides. So 1, 2, 3 weighs the same as 4, 5, 6. Both sides weigh the same. Then I, I will just take them all out. Well, I can keep them actually, right? If they weigh the same, I can keep them. Then I can add 7 and 8, right? I can add 7 and then I could add 8, right? Add 7 and 8 to each side. And then what happens? So if one of them definitely one side will be heavier, right? So if the left side is heavier, then 7 is the heavier ball. If the right side weighs more, then obviously 8 is the heavier ball, right? So we needed two weighings. But what about the case 2? What about case 2? Um, one side is heavier. Right, so we're talking about the case when we will have one, two, three, four, five, six. So suppose that this is going to be the um, the lighter side, and this one is the heavier one. What are you going to do then? Because you you will only have one weighing after that, right? So what you could do. You could take the heavier side, okay, and then basically measure uh, measure any two of these. So you can measure four and five, and have six on the side in your hand, for example, right? If they weigh the same, then six is the one that is heavier, right? If they don't weigh the same, then it's obviously one of them who's heavier, right? So if five is heavier, then five is the then five is the ball that you found. If four is heavier, then four is the one. But there's another way of doing it. It's it's kind of uh, more complicated, maybe a little bit more interesting, maybe. So imagine um, so case two A. I will na label it right now. Case 2B. B is the one I'm going to talk about. So suppose that you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? You have heavier ones. So what you can do, you can get rid of only 1, and we're going to put 5 instead of 1 there, right? So it's going to be 5, 2, 3, and then here we're going to have. Um, and let's take the four out. L let's take the four uh, outside, right? Take four out. Right, so we took four out, we put the five on the left side, and we know that two and three weigh the same, right? And so as a result, we only have six remaining on one side. So now we're going to add seven and eight. And we know seven and eight weigh the same. So now, guess what happens? If if this, if this side is still heavier, this side, then that means 6 is the ball that is heavier, right? Because 7 and 8 weigh the same. If this side is heavier, then 5 is the winning ball. 
5 is the heavier one, right? Right, because we knew that 5 was on the heavier side in the first place when we replaced it, when we put it on the left side, right? On the lighter side. But if they weigh the same, guess which one wins? This guy, the one that we took out, the 4, because 4 was originally in, on the heavier side as well, right? I mean, this is so fun, isn't it? So you have two ways in case 2 to solve this, uh, to find the heavier ball. In the first case, it's really easy, right? If, if the balls weigh the same, then you know that it's either 7 or 8 that you weigh separately. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next puzzle problem. I hope you had a lot of fun.